with Rome 2 Total War coming out this year, I thought this might be a good time to get back to Shogun 2 and do a Let's Play. Uh, I've played the game back when it came out a little bit, and uh, for some reason never played it a whole lot. I played the one uh, campaign, and I thought, well, let's do a, uh, a Let's Play and do it properly and uh, see how this turns out. So, uh, I'm going to be playing the Shimazu, because, you know, you want your katana, katana heroes. And uh, I'm going to just play on regular uh, difficulty, because I'm not exactly an expert on the game. So, let's see. Cunning Tanuki, he preys upon my humble sword. I have no defense. Not exactly sure what a tanuki would be. <clears throat> Fifteen forty five. This is Sengoku Jidai. The age of the country at war. For 200 years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now, the overmighty clans no longer obey. Time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun. But who will be victorious? Shimazu lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. We trace a line back to the first shogun Yoritomo. Loyalty runs deep in the Shimazu. It is in our blood, our traditions. And in battle, our swordsmen are the envy of Japan. No blade is swifter or more feared than ours. Shamonten, the war god, has woken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the Shimazu clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. We are the Shimazu. This is an auspicious time for our clan. Not only have we established ourselves as masters of Satsuma province, but fate has brought us into contact with a trade ship from the far west. Shipwrecked upon the shores of Tanegashima, the Namban brought with them the promise of lucrative trade. More importantly, they brought Teppo, Firearms. Simple to operate, yet deadly in their effect. Establishing trade relations with the Namban should be a priority, for their weapons could be the key to our military superiority in Kyushu. It is also vital that we begin to extend our power beyond the bounds of Satsuma. Osumi should be our first target. We are already at war with the ruling Ito clan, and its castle is dangerously close to our borders. It must be captured before the Ito have a chance to master an army there. We may then proceed with their total subjugation, or alternatively, expansion into Higo. 
We are not currently at odds with the Sagara, the masters there. A seizure of their province will mean a source of superior war horses and a taste of total and lasting victory. With southern Kyushu firmly under our control, none of the other clans will be able to resist. Kyushu will be ours. But we must beware of drawing the ire of Kyoto. Should the Shogunet perceive our growing influence as a threat, it will be necessary to defend ourselves against the Shogun and his allies. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. Alright, so we have our first mission. And uh, it says as Satsuma is firmly under Shimazu rule, we can now afford to extend our domain further. Osumi province to the east is an apt target, it's poorly defended and belongs to our old enemies, the Ito. Capturing it will bring them to heal and help secure a position in southern Kyushu. So, capture it and we will get more reclusion slots and we have four seasons to do it. To become shogun, military ruler of all Japan. We must defeat the current shogunate, the Ashikaga clan. Capturing and holding the capital of Kyoto for four seasons. At this point, the emperor will declare our clan leader shogun. We can make a bid for the Yeah. Shogun. We don't need to hear about that. We know what we have to do, and we're starting here we haven't really discovered it yet which is unfortunate let's see what we have here uh, what can we a province oh, great. Castle town is the central settlement oh, shut up. Uh, let's see what can this we recruit shows at this point the units or ships available for and what do we have in our army we have, you have currently selected. Oh, shut up already the katana samurai Yari Ashigaru, Bo Ashigaru. So Plans what we would want is towns consume it. more. Although food is and automatically more. distributed across all our products. And let's this see how we'll to upgrade our food. And other agricultural buildings increase both income and food supplies across all your provinces. There we go. We do have some information on Higo, but that's of later concern, I think. Oh wait, is this town a town of ours? No, it's not. We're just at peace with them, so... Okay, um, we're building stuff. Let's uh, end our turn. Uh, everybody else makes their moves. Ideal for whittling down the enemy before battle is joined. These troops are best kept at range and will suffer heavy losses. Okay. This panel Research. enables selection of the arts that, when mastered, will give us an advantage over our rivals. To begin, Simply select the item you wish to master. The clan management panel gathers together the essential statistics and the information used to manage our clan's hierarchy. So we need to get Kenjutsu according to the mission. Oh, he has a sword. No. Wait, how is it worded again? <laughs> Master. 
faster way of the sword. Okay. Okay, that's over there. So there we go. Troops can be. This panel shows you information about a general. All armies and fleets have a zone of control. Done, we just need the samurai. Here we go. There we go. When unhappiness becomes too great, the peasants will riot. Factors which may cause there are two types of rebellion. Agents are recruited directly from a province via the recruitment tab on the review panel. Recruitment is instant. But cost may vary depending on the number of factors, such as the presence of certain buildings. Well, let's just immediately attack these dudes. They're retreating. Winning a battle isn't just about greater numbers. The balance of units well, let's just, uh, and the general's ability are essential too. Continue the siege. Look at the and let them break out. And reinforcement information. Because you know, uh, if they attack out, it's just easier to kill them, and it'll just take three turns to surrender, which isn't very long at all. So that should be pretty easy, I think. They'll probably attack out, but user interface panels, we don't really care. You will notice a question mark button in their top right hand corners. This is the help button. An Anderson Castle Town All automatically right. generates units of support. We have our fields improved. And let's improve the roads too. We need more trade, we need more money always. And we can improve that at the same time, we have enough money for that. Let's see, I'm wondering if they're going to try to break out now. If a general is killed in battle yep. whilst units or uh, she are can fighting, try to shut up again. And, uh, okay, let's do the fight. We're outnumbering them, so we should be able to win this. We have another quote. I die triumphant, my soul soars above the snow, released at last. Observe the area. And there's a hill in the middle, it seems. And there have they have some high ground and there's some trees, but they're attacking. So I'm going to try to probably get some um, ambush or something going. Yeah, this should be enough.刀は抜いた。敵方に一人でも生き残りがいる限り、この刀さやには収め。全ては Okay, our troops are ready and willing. Let's uh, get a good position going for a ambush. First, let's see, group up our cavalry back. Stretch him out, then we take our bow guys with the front. And let's see, the Yari, three Yari plus our good stuff. So group up these guys. 
guys. And they're hidden. And these guys are hidden. I should probably spread those guys out. Alright, let's do this. A selection group is an we easy don't way need to hear too bad selection groups. Okay, let's see. Yep, they're moving up, so let's the move time. The speed controls are used to adjust. And let's see what's going on. They're splitting up a little bit, so that's probably in our advantage. They're almost in range of our bows. Let's see their bows. Light cavalry, more bows. Samurai retainers. So they only see our general over here, probably. Um, yeah, let them come, and then our Yari can flank them. And they're about to just shoot arrows at my dudes. Hmm. Not really sure what's happening here. Oh, they just noticed the arrows and are moving back. And this is going to be a bow fight, it seems. Okay. The samurai are charging. Let's get my guys ready to flank here. Because they're charging completely on their own against the Yari. Um, let's pause for a while. Are we set to skirmish? Yeah, they, uh, they are now. And they are both. So they will retreat instead of, uh, instead of standing in the ground. Our Ooh. hidden units have been discovered, my lord. Yes, uh, we would expect that to happen. Okay, the Yaris attack those guys. Samurai are running a different way. Okay, that should make quick work of the light cavalry, actually. Retreating. And their Yaris are going after our cavalry, which is a bad thing, because it's our clan leader. So let's get our Katanaka out there already wavering. That's very quick. They're worried, so let's get our Katana infantry in there and charge back. These guys are done now. Did they? Oh, they were chasing those guys, goddammit. Completely off the field. A glorious victory will soon be yours! Okay, let's charge everyone. Especially these bow guys, and just get them now before they shoot their arrows. Because that would be a waste of lives for my people. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! No, he's not. There we go. That's a solid win, I think. Let's see what the result was. I don't think I lost too many guys over there, so... It's a good start for a first battle. We had our uh, general get some experience. I think that's usually a good idea. They can level up. 
So that's uh, yeah, a good start. Let's see. Only lost 93 men, and they only had one survivor. Wow. So let's see. General did lose a couple of guys. Yuri guys lost a couple of guys. Our bow guys lost a couple of guys. Our bows did excellently in a number of kills, as did our general. So that's great. He levels up twice, actually. That's amazing. So that's great. Straightforward occupation. Upon capture of a castle town. There is also an option to loot. It. Yes, loot or peacefully. Um. Well, we don't need immediate money, and we could probably use for some happy people. So let's just peacefully occupy them. Entering into diplomacy gives the clan a means to negotiate matters of alliance. So, uh, she can stop talking. Uh, we have successfully accomplished the mission, and we get recruitment slots for four seasons. Alright. We need to build a trading port and get 4,000, so... Harbor... Harbor... Let's I think do in not just facilitate this line. Power. They also enable the okay. construction of there are three ways to move an army from a castle town onto the land. We need to improve stuff here too. In order to move the entire force, select the castle town okay. and then click yeah. on the point. Stop you talking, need. lady. All right, we have our guys here. Army. Our daimyo can go back home. Assistance they need to, to stay here to, to keep order. Or seriously, stop talking already. And let's see. So self-centered. Okay. Okay. This is the character skill tree. Where the we cannot gained by generals and agents during the campaign yet, apparently, can be but used to acquire useful skills. Are they replenishing? As a character improves, they gain experience points that so. gradually increase their ranking stars. Each star being equivalent to two skill uh, Okay, I need more to get actual Clicking stuff. So, more one more level up and he can get some skills going. I thought I would get it immediately. Everyone's replenishing. Um, yeah, I think that's a good uh, point to stop this episode. See you guys.